Hey there, this is Laquita with QuitaBugHandmaids.com. Thank you so much for joining me today for another Stampin' Up! tutorial. So today I am excited to announce my second free card kit for the month of October. I will be featuring the Gather Together stamp set. So this stamp set is from the 2019 holiday catalog by Stampin' Up! So I'm really excited to share the free card kit that I've got to go along with this stamp set. Don't forget, you can receive my free Gather Together card kit by simply placing a minimum $40 order in my online Stampin' Up! store. That's $40 before tax and shipping. Be sure to use the host code that I've got somewhere here on the screen. Just don't use that code when placing your order. If your order is $150 or greater, you will still receive my free card kit and you will qualify to receive Stampin' Rewards, so you don't want to miss out on those. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. I'm going to walk you through how to put together my free Gather Together uh, card kit. So let's get started. And also remember, this kit will be available for all qualifying orders placed in my online store from October the 16th through October the 31st. So my Gather Together free card kit will end October the 31st, so make sure you get your orders in in time, and I'll be shipping these kits out on November the 2nd, uh, that Saturday following Halloween. So in addition to the Gather Together stamp set, I paired it um, with the coordinating dies. So these are the gathered leaves dies. You can get this as a bundle. So if you have a die cutting machine and you're gonna get the stamp set, I highly recommend just going ahead and getting the bundle. You save 10% when you get um, the stamp set with the dies together. So it's a great value, worth getting the bundle, but you will not need the dies to complete the kit exactly as I have. If you wanna complete it exactly as I have, all you need is that Gather Together stamp set, and I will have the full list of supplies of everything that I used um, to create the kit over on today's blog post linked below, and also the full supply list will be uh, down below in the video description with clickable links so that you can quickly add whatever you need to your cart um, and place your order. So let's jump in. You guys are gonna love this kit, I'm telling you. It it is beautiful. I love every single project. So your kit will come with all of the consumable supplies that you need to create one of each of the projects included in the kit. And I'm just going to give you a super quick glance at each of the projects. So we've got three cards. Aren't these so pretty, you guys? Three cards and then this great little treat bag. I love it. And then remember your kit does include envelopes as well as a full color PDF that will have all of the measurements for each of the projects in case you want to make them again. All right, so I've got all of my supplies here for the first card. So let's go ahead and get our stamping done. I am going to bring in some scratch paper here. I've got Pretty Peacock ink, Cajun Craze, and pear pizzazz and these are the three colors that uh, will be featured throughout the kit as well so i'm going to start first by stamping this little wheat image right here i'm going to stamp that in pear pizzazz on this die cut piece of whisper white and i die cut this using the stitched shapes dies so it's got that beautiful stitched edge i love that so i'm going to ink this up in pear pizzazz i'm just going to stamp off one time and then, let's see, I'm gonna put this right about, right about here. Yep, that looks great. Then I'm gonna come in with my Gather Together sentiment and in Pretty Peacock, I am going to stamp this in the upper left of my stitch circle right there. Then I have already die cut these little pumpkins um, using those coordinating dies. I've die cut the pumpkins in uh, Cajun Craze, and then I'm going to stamp the coordinating image right on top of this die cut uh, piece here. So I've shown you guys this before, just ink up that image, flip your die cut over, place it on top of your inked stamp, just line it up, and then bring in another block and stamp it. So it's a great tip for stamping on pre die cut pieces. Voila. So now we can start putting this card together. So I'm going to bring in my mint macaron card base, fold that over, give it a nice crease with my bone folder. There we go. Then I've got some of that come together designer series paper. I love this pattern here. So pretty. Um, you could use whichever side you want. Of course, it's your kit. Um, you can mix and match these pieces however you'd like. And I'm just going to adhere this onto this piece of um, Cajun Craze cardstock. 
So just add a little bit of snail adhesive. Adhere this right on. And then we'll put this onto our card front. Not yet. Don't do that yet. So before we adhere this on, you've got a piece of this pretty peacock scalloped ribbon. I love this ribbon. So what we're going to do is you want to just, let me get my scissors, angle one end of this ribbon. So I like to just cut between scallops at an angle. So I'm going to do it just like that. Actually, I think I want it to go the other way. There we go. So I've got it just like that. Perfect. And then what I'm going to do is I want to bring it over to the right a little bit and then I'm just going to fold back my ribbon onto that adhesive that I just put, but that's not going to be enough adhesive. So I'm going to add a little bit more. So I've just put down a piece of tear and tape. I'm gonna peel the backing off of there. So that is on there. And then I will add just a tiny bit of snail adhesive to stick down this front piece. Just like that, perfect. Okay, so there we go. So I've got that how I want it. Now I can finish snailing this up. And then we'll just adhere this to the card front. Then I'm gonna take my stamped layer and I'm going to adhere that onto this mint macaron scalloped circle. And I'll just use snail for that as well. Just adhere this on. There we go. Give it a flip. Dimensionals on the back and I'm going to do three. Okay. And then we'll just adhere this. Let's see, it looks like that may not be straight. Let me do it again. Okay, there we go. Had to get my ribbon straight. Then I am just going to adhere this right over the top. So right about there. And then I will put dimensionals onto the back of my little pumpkin duo here. And these are going to go right down here. Right about there looks good. Give it a press. And there you have card number one complete. Love, love, love this layout. So let's get started on card number two. I love the clean, crisp look of this card. So we are going to start by stamping on these pre die cut pieces. So again, I use those coordinating dies and die cut this pear pizzazz leaf and then also um, another Cajun Craze pumpkin. So let me get my ink. So I've got my three colors here again, and I am going to start with Pear Pizzazz. I'm gonna ink up that large leaf image. Flip my die cut over. Lay it on top of my inked stamp. Bring in another block and stamp it down. Perfect. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with my Cajun Craze, ink up my uh, pumpkin image here, flip over my die cut, lay it onto that inked stamp, bring in another block, stamp it down. There we go, looks good. Now I wanna see where I want the sentiment to go exactly. So my leaf is going to go on Let's see. My leaf is gonna go on right about there. Then my pumpkin is going to go right about here. So then I want my sentiment, which I'm gonna stamp in a Pretty Peacock. I want that to go right down here. 
and that says may this season bring you smiles and love that will last all year love that sentiment so there we go so that is how we're gonna do that so this is actually a piece of whisper white that I die cut using those nested stitched dies again love those dies too we have so many great dies right now okay so I'm gonna go ahead and add these pieces on to our whisper white die cut here so I'm just going to pop this right about there yep perfect and then I'm gonna pop up my pumpkin with a dimensional I think I can just get away with one here on this and I will put that yep right about there then you've got a piece of um, linen thread included in the kit so just straighten that out with your bone folder and tie it in a super simple bow easy easy peasy nothing complicated on that bow We've got a few little straggly bits clip those off and then just take some, a, a glue dot not some glue dots take a glue dot roll it up with your paper piercer and just pop that on the stem of the pumpkin press your twine bow right into there or your linen thread bow right in and then I'm just going to trim this down just a tiny bit here right about there I think that looks good and I'm gonna go ahead and just add some dimensionals here to the back of this as well so that we're ready all right so let's put together the rest of this card so I've got a whisper white thick card base here my favorite card base I love using whisper white thick then I've got a layer of our regular whisper white that's going to go on top of the card front so I'm going to adhere that with snail and we'll just pop this on in the center right there looks good then I've got another piece of that um, come together designer series paper I love this paper this pattern is so pretty so I'm just going to add snail which I just ran out of snail so I'm gonna quickly replace it it's super easy to do so you just take a refill do this really fast take out your refill take out this little yellow piece open up your snail so this piece can recycle um, or throw away whatever you like to do and then there you go all right super easy okay so I'm going to line this all the way up to the fold of the card front and I guess I've got it about one inch up from the bottom and there we go then we can take off those dimensionals that we put on this layer Take off the backings and then we can adhere this pop this up right about here off to the left there we go all right and that finishes up card number two isn't it so gorgeous I love it it's so clean it's so crisp all these colors in the back just really pop against that white background I love this card so pretty Okay, so let's go on to card number three. So we are going to be stamping some pumpkins and then also our sentiment. So I've got my ink here that we need and for this piece of Whisper White, I die cut this or I punched this out using the truly tailored uh, punch. So we are just going to ink up the sentiment that says wishing you well. I was really excited about the layout for card number three because I've never done a layout quite like this one and I love it. Um, adding this, this truly tailored punch just made such a neat visual to me. So, okay, so I'm gonna set that to the side. Now our pumpkin trick, ink up the pumpkins in Cajun craze, flip our die cut, stamp, with another block there we go ink up our larger pumpkin flip our die cut there we go stamp there we go 
All right, so now we are ready to start assembling this card. So let's do it. So we've got a crumb cake card base. Just going to fold it, give it a nice crease. Then we've got another layer here of crumb cake that's going to go on top. And the reason I do um, another layer sometimes is I just feel like when you have um, at least one more layer of cardstock on your card base, it just makes it feel a little bit more sturdy. So I don't normally like to just do just a card front, but anyways, okay. So then you've got another pretty piece of that designer paper from the Come Together Designer Series paper. So I'm gonna take this I've got my banner triple punch. I'm just going to slip it in here and banner the ends. If you don't have this punch, no worries. You can make the same banner just using your paper snips. So you would just grab your snips, snip up the middle, then snip in the sides, and there you go. So we will add this on with snail, and I'm gonna put it about a quarter of an inch down from that crumb cake layer that we added on, so right about there in the center. Then you've got one of these die cuts, and I die cut this using the, I had to go get it because I couldn't remember. I used the Stitched Labels Framelits dies um, to die cut this image. So I'm just all about the stitching lately. So when you get your kit, you will have to just kind of pop out these little bits that I'm sure will still be in there because um, that's just how it does when you run it through but okay so I got all of those pieces popped out and I die cut this from some pretty peacock cardstock then you have got another piece of whisper white so this is um, has been die cut using the stitched shapes dies so you are going to add this on with dimensionals So just pop that right into the center here of this pretty peacock die cut. There we go. Then you're gonna take your sentiment and at the top part of your sentiment, add some snail adhesive and we are going to have this sit right about here. I'm not gonna press it down all the way just yet, but it's gonna go right about there then I'm gonna take this pumpkin, the larger one, add some snail adhesive, and that's going to overlap the top part of the sentiment a little bit. And I'm gonna put it right about, let's see. I think I'm gonna put it right about here. Yep, right about there. Then I've got this leaf that comes from those die cuts, the comes from the gather, gathered leaves dies. So these actually already have some embossing on them. Hopefully you can see that embossing. So I die cut this using mint macaron cardstock. So really, really pretty. And I am going to pop this right about here. But I'm not gonna press it down just yet because I wanna make sure that's where I want it. Then I've got my other two little pumpkins and I actually want the little um, arch here in my pumpkins, I want that to sit just above that H down there. So I'm going to put two dimensionals on the back. And that's going to go over the H. So right about there. Yep, I think it looks good. So I'm gonna press everything in. I'm gonna flip this over and put dimensionals on the back of this. Okay, so this is going to go on the center of our card over that little banner that we made. So let me get this all lined up. Okay, press that down, there we go. And then you have another little piece of linen thread um, in your kit for this card. So I'm just going to tie this in a nice, simple little bow. Then I will roll up another glue dot here, add it to the bottom of the stem there on the large pumpkin, and then just give it a press and trim it down. Okay, there we go. 
Okay, and that finishes up card number three. Isn't that so fun? I really, really love the layout of this card. Another really great card. And lastly is our treat bag. So let's go ahead and get started on this. So I am filling my uh, treat bag. This is our three by six gusseted treat bag. I am filling mine with these Reason chocolates. I love Reason chocolates. Um, and I thought that the colors in these would match really well with um, the topper and everything. So anyways, so I'm gonna fill my bag with these. So I'm just going to put, I found that six, was perfect and then one for me to eat mm -hmm. now that I've finished eating mine <laughs> that's the bad thing about making treat bags is I always feel like I have to eat one every time I make a bag okay so I'm gonna add my six in here and I love the gusseted bags because you know they're gusseted so they open up nice and wide and you can fit a really good amount in here. So I've got my six in there and that perfect. I fit in there just right. So I'm just gonna pinch in uh, the top uh, sides just like that. Then you've got a piece in your kit. There we go. You've got a piece of um, Cajun Craze cardstock. So I'm just going to fold that, get these pieces back in here. I mean, that looks like Cajun Craze, the lining or the uh, outline of the word reason. I mean, this Cajun Craze matches perfectly. So if you like these, these uh, candies, you should totally use them in your treat bag. <laughs> but you can use whatever you want. So put your topper on. And then with any stapler, you just want to staple in the center. And we are going to be covering that up. You'll never know it's there. Then you've got another piece of that uh, Gorgeous Designer series paper. Love it. Um, we are going to add this on with some snail adhesive. And you just center that up and it covers up that staple. There we go. Perfect. Then I'm going to take, actually, I think I'm going to do tear and tape. So I'm just going to take a piece of tear and tape. I want it to be basically the length of this treat bag topper. I haven't made a treat bag topper in so long. I used to make these all the time. Um, but I'm just gonna put this tear and tape just directly across the center here of my topper. I used to make treat bags all the time. I need to get back to it because I really love coming up with fun, cute little toppers. Okay, so I've peeled that off. Then what I used to decorate, um, you'll have a piece of this beautiful ribbon in the kit. Um, and this is the Come Together Ribbon Combo Pack. So you've got this little, it comes from there. So you've got this little strip of that ribbon. Just put that on across the center here of your topper. Isn't it so pretty? It's such a beautiful ribbon and just press that into your adhesive. I like the tear and tape just so that it stays on really well, but you can use whatever. Uh, if you wanna use your snail or if you have fast views. And then just make sure you have some good ribbon scissors to cut off the uh, overhanging ribbon. You just want a good pair of scissors so that you don't fray your ends when you cut. So look at that, isn't that perfect? Love it. And then now we can finish this treat bag with our stamping. So I am going to stamp the sentiment that says season of thanks. I'm gonna stamp that in my um, pretty peacock on this piece of die cut whisper white. Again, die cut using the stitched shapes dies. So you've got that beautiful stitching all around the outside. I am just obsessed with stitching. I cannot get enough. So I've got that stamped down, looks great. Love Pretty Peacock. Ah, love this color, you guys. If you don't have it, you, you need to get it. It is such a beautiful color. Um, one of my favorites, I'm gonna stamp my pumpkins again using that same trick. Uh, one of my favorite colors we ever had was Island Indigo. And I feel like it's the closest thing we've had since that color. Um, Pretty Peacock is the closest thing to it and I love it, love it, okay. There we go, pumpkin's done. Then I'm gonna flip this over and add this onto my mint macaron scalloped circle here. 
we'll just put that, that's upside down, there we go. We'll just put that right there. Perfect, and then two dimensionals onto the back of my pumpkins. Okay, and we will pop those right there and then flip this over and two dimensionals on the back of this as well. Okay, and then we'll just put this in the center. Isn't this so cute, you guys? I love this kit. I love everything about this kit. You guys have to check out this suite of products. And there it is. There is our fourth and final project. Beautiful little treat bag. Absolutely love it. So cute. All right, so there it is, my Gather Together free card kit. I hope that you have enjoyed this card kit, this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. So don't forget, all you have to do to receive this beautiful kit as a free gift in the mail from me to you is simply place a minimum $40 order in my online Stampin' Up! store from October the 16th through October the 31st, 2019, and you will qualify to receive this kit as a gift in the mail from me. Make sure you use the host code when placing your order. I'll have that code somewhere here on the screen for you. Just don't use that code if your order is $150 or greater. You will still qualify to receive the kit and you will earn Stampin' Rewards and you don't want to miss those. So I hope that you guys love this kit. I would also love to know which one of these projects is your favorite. I don't know. I don't know if I can choose a favorite. I actually love this whole kit, but let me know. If you do have a favorite project in this kit, let me know. So thank you guys so, so much for joining me today. I appreciate you so very much. Have a great day, and I will be back again very soon with another tutorial. Bye now.